This is day three. I think they're actually about five days old. You can see some of the Spitzhavens are starting to get their little mohawks going. Look at those things, they're so cute. But you can see, I don't know if you can see, some of them are getting their little mohawks. Let's see. And I'll do a short video because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all of these and combine them together into one great big baby video. But that's day three with these babies. Well, they're a little calmer today, but look at the mess they are making. This is my third day with these babies. Um, they were born on Wednesday. This is now Monday. Like, I guess I can't count. Um, but you see all the food that the little twits have drug out of the food box. All of it. These are still the Spitzhaben babies. And these are Appenzeller Spitzhaben Golden Chamois. And then Modeled Houdon. Um, I think they're both rare. I know the Houdon are critically endangered. Um, the Chamois, the Appenzellers are rare too. Most of what I'm doing is rare birds. But the modeled Houdons are extremely rare. And I think a lot of times people mistake them. And you'll hear people talk about a modeled Polish. I think that's what they're talking about. I'm not aware of any actual modeled Polish. I could be wrong, but if you check and they got five toes, they're not Polish. They're Houdons. I'm going to try. I have an order in for 10 blue Polish and five splash that's supposed to come next month. Or this month on the 15th. And what I'm going to try to do is breed the Houdons. I want to see if I can't bring back large fowl white Houdons. And I got to thinking about it. And the best thing I can think of is to use the splash or the white polish. And then just pick for the Houdon characteristics. But anyways, this is their... Five days old? Yeah, five days old. They're so cute! So cute! They act like I'm gonna do a serial killer and kill them all. They are adorable. I mean, so far I haven't lost any. Even with the stress of tra being traveling, which I don't know about other people. I've had a lot of good luck with cackle. I have not had any problems with cackle. My birds have never come in dead. They've always been really healthy. And I don't know if that's because cackle's so close to me or what. But cross my fingers because I'm telling you, I can use all of these little babies that will grow up. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Guys, this is Chris with Chickens for Chicks, and if you like what you saw, subscribe, come back, like the video, and um, there'll be more. Lots of education, lots of babies. <laughs>